what's going on uh steven turner here with turner fishing so in today's video i'm gonna be going over how to stay on brush pretty much all year like so what you're gonna need you'll need some kind of grab this is a garmin striker 7 we got 2d and down imaging that's all i need and you need one of these babies this is a, a buoy uh, you can pick them up for a couple bucks walmart whatever so now all you got to do is find a brush pile so we're gonna take our trolling motor look for the brush pile you can you know if you got a graph on the back you can do that but i find the trolling motor is a lot easier because you can precisely put this so you can be on the fish at all times and really what i'm looking for here is something really bright red coming up from the bottom and not the top because you don't know what that is up top it could be bait fish could be school of fish and i like to use side by side because if you look it looks like a brush pile here but there's nothing here so the 2d kind of confirms everything in my opinion of what you're seeing on your down imaging i mean that could easily be a school of fish right there but what i'm looking for is the brush pile like i know there's a brush pile somewhere on this point so that is what i am looking for definitely a lot easier with forward facing sonar to find a brush pile but all you got to do is go back and forth and you'll eventually run over it so that's what we're doing now so as soon as we run over it i'll show you how to catch them all right so we got this right here but i don't think that's the brush i'm looking for it's got to keep looking little bitty brush pile but we are coming up on the brush pile now so i know that brush pile is under my trolling motor so i'm going to throw this to the right hopefully it works of course it doesn't so now we got to come over here and fix it <laughs> the brush top is six feet so if i'm gonna use a slip cork or something I need to set it at about five feet. It's a pretty big brush pile coming through here. But I want to set this marker buoy just so I know if I throw to the left, I should be on the brush at all times. so we got that set up so now we just got to get out here and fish There we go. Nice one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right beside the buoy. Oh. Get him on that micro. A little meaner. It's a nice fish. Probably 11 inch. That's the way it's starting today. luckily you know we've got probably six mile an hour eight mile an hour wind coming onto this point which i'm fine with wind you know it kind of sucks for filming but the good thing about throwing that buoy out is you know it took me a minute 
to get the live well set up and all that. But I know exactly where I was fishing. So now I can just run straight back over here and I'm able to hopefully replicate what I just did. So now we can kind of tone it down. I caught it to the right of the buoy as I was trolling. So we're going to try to replicate all that. With a little bit of wind we got, I am going to throw a split shot on. One, just to feel the bite better. And for two, they may, because I caught that fish trolling, they may want it just a little bit faster falling. So, But mainly just because, you know, in the wind, it's going to keep my line tight and I'm able to detect the bite a lot easier. Now it's all about trying to put the puzzle together. All right, one piece of the puzzle don't really mean much. But if you can get a few bites doing the same thing over and over, you kind of put it together. So we'll see. We may have to move around. I mean, this brush files, you know, it's not tiny, so there's certain spots on it, which I mean, you just gotta figure it out. Here's one. That feels like a bluegill. Yep. Calm down, buddy. It's all about figuring out where they want to bite. If they want to bite at all. That's one of the, one of the things about fishing like this. Could have caught the only fish on the brush pile that wants to bite. fish right there in that same exact spot to a little bit to the right of that buoy right in the roof of the mouth where you want it to be probably nine incher so we ain't trophy fishing we grocery fish So now, I mean, one fish a dumb fish, two fish a pattern. So once you got your buoy set up and you've caught a couple fish in one little area, I mean, now it's just about milking the cow. That's really all it is. Finding the brush pile with your 2D or down imaging, setting up your buoy so you kind of know where that brush pile is so you don't have to look at the screen. And then it's just fishing. Now you got to figure out what depth they're at like that one right there is probably five and a half feet so on this cast i'm gonna do five and a half feet i mean you may have to change it up every now and then but i mean this is the simplest way because i know for me for the longest time i could only fish docks because you know you had something to throw at you had something to you know base your cast off of and the buoy kind of makes like a well these, these you know the buoy is kind of your dock you know you got something to base your cast off of i mean really all i'm doing right now is throwing it out there letting it go down and i'm using the trolling motor with the wind to move my jig back and forth across this brush i'm not doing anything special i'm popping it every now and then 
But other than that, this is just traditional casting and down down jigging or vertical jigging that people want to call it. It's a few times you don't get a bite. It is definitely okay to try another color. We caught those two fish on monkey milk. So the next thing to try is obviously crappy man green. I mean, you could get lucky and catch the two fish that want monkey milk, but then they may be tearing the hook off with like crappy man green. But I mean, every little spot, try to give it about 10 minutes. If you're getting a bite, reset the clock. And then when you got that gut feeling that you've caught whatever fish was gonna bite there, then move on. So we're just gonna piddle paddle around, trying to make different angles at that same little area right there. See if another one wants to bite. Like I said, I'm using my foot control trolling motor to move my rod. Now an eight foot rod would probably be a little bit better today, but don't have one, so. <laughs> so we're using this six six like a, a long pole and just moving it around. I mean, casting and winding's fun, but I mean, in my opinion, it don't get no better than what I'm doing now, marking it with 2D and putting a buoy out. Because, I, I mean, you can't perfectly count down to get on top of the brush and you're going to end up getting hung and then you're going to scare all the fish off. Oh yeah. So that one I changed the angle up and I threw to the left and let it come back to that one little area and he smoked it. So now we're gonna reset the clock. It is 7.53. Right in the roof of the mouth. Nice little keeper fish. Nothing to write home about. But Throw him with his buddies. Fix our jig and we're gonna get right back to that same little cast. So that one, I kind of went over here. Which I had the camera on, so we should be able to see the cast. So we're gonna try that one more time. Use our foot with the trolling motor to get back up here. You always got to keep that in your head. I'm just going to let that jig swing its way back through here. wind up on this cast and see what happens i'm in the brush right now coming out the brush little dude <laughs> it's for it's the same rod i of my other rods but it's not as sensitive i barely felt that fish I want to say they're more shallow than what I'm giving them credit for. So we're going to try that for a couple of casts and see what happens. I've been mainly trying to fish around six feet, but this cast right here should be about four and a half. Oh my God. That fish knocked slack in my line. 
And every time you miss one, it's crazy how your line does this. Well, I'll be back in five seconds. Back in action. The boat starting ran over the buoy. Right now, I'm trying to get the boat off the buoy. Had to reset the buoy, but we're back on them now. Nice keeper, nice keeper. Now we just gotta remember where we got the bite. We'll be all right. I mean, normally if you can find a cast where you're ticking the brush, just wind up a little bit and just make that cast a bunch of times you should get a bite. Right there, ticking the top of that brush. Be number five, and I mean, that micro minnow is just down his throat. Now remember guys, you want, you want to fish just like this with the micro minnow, crappymanjigs.com. I have a whole kit for 20 bucks on there. It comes with everything you need to do what we're doing right now, except split shots. Which split shots only a dollar at Walmart. So that is number five off the first brush pile. It's pretty good, especially this time of year. Water temp is 80, almost 81. So it's getting up there. 